Today on Business Success in Six with Stacy, I have Tristan Shorter here, Director of Communications from Milwaukee Parks Foundation. Tristan, it's a pleasure to have you on today. Thanks for having me. I would love to talk to you about the great work you're doing throughout Milwaukee. If you don't mind, can I ask you six questions about Milwaukee Parks Foundation? Let's do it. All right, here we go. When people ask you what your organization does, how do you describe Milwaukee Parks Foundation? Um, I describe Milwaukee Parks Foundation as the philanthropic arm of Milwaukee County Parks. Um, within that, one of our main uh, goals is to collectively steward a thriving park system. We do that through two ways. Um, one way would be directly investing in Milwaukee County Parks um, through the funds that we raise. But also another way is we have a grant making process called our Sprouts Funds to where community groups can apply um, for community grants to activate their parks. Wow, cool. I love how specific you are and you know exactly what your goal is. And that's just a huge part of running an organization or business. So thank you for sharing that so much. So my next question for you is what were your plans when you started this foundation in 2019 and how has it changed? Yes. Well, the foundation was very much started with community in mind. Um, the foundation was a brainchild of community members who saw the need in Milwaukee County Parks to have a, phil a philanthropic arm. So within that, um, how have they changed? With us being founded in 2019, that very much changed the direction of the organization. Um, we were founded right before the pandemic. So initially, our board of directors thought they would just go ahead and hire executive director. But the pandemic gave them an opportunity to halt um, finding an executive director and start a strategic planning process. So within that, they hired P3 Development Group and um, went out into the community and talked to community members to really understand what they wanted from a parks foundation and what they wanted within Milwaukee County Parks. So they interviewed over 400 community residents to understand strategically where should we go. Yeah, that is incredible. And that's so smart that you were able to actually to communicate and ask questions with those residents and really find out what what will drive them in supporting this. That's wonderful. So what is the biggest way you impact the community? I know this is all about community. So share as much as you want. <laughs> okay. The biggest way we impact community is very much making sure that we have a sustainable park system. I think for us um, and for the Milwaukee com community, people sometimes take, take parks for granted. Um, but during the pandemic, we really saw people going outside, using their green space, being able to take in fresh air. Um, and we want to be able for generations and generations to come to have a sustainable park system that's always there for our community. Um, so within that, as I mentioned, we um, give to Milwaukee County Parks in two different ways, and we call that our Seeds and Sprouts Initiative, to where our seeds investments are those large um, investments to Milwaukee County Parks to help out with infrastructure, um, to help out um, with those long-term goals of Milwaukee County Parks. While our seat, our Sprouts investments are those grants that we give to community members and grassroots organizations um, to be able to go ahead and fund some of their park ac activation projects. Um, so within the, over the past year, we've been able to pledge over um, $500,000 to Milwaukee County Parks. And that is one year with our organization fully staffed being able to donate that money to Milwaukee County Parks. So, so great. So just so our viewers know, approximately how many parks are there in Milwaukee County? Yes, we have over 157 parks within Milwaukee County. Um, so those are parks, those are our trail systems. Um, so a lot of green space for our park caretakers to take care of, but a lot of green space for um, equitable access to green space within Milwaukee County. Yeah, and I think one thing that's really neat, too, is that people don't realize the the golf courses, Milwaukee County golf courses are part of those parks. You know, there's there's so much opportunity and recreational activities we can do as, as well as healing, just being in the, the outdoors and taking in that fresh oxygen and in that green space. So thank you for the incredible work you're doing in our community. Yes, thank you. Yes, my next question for you is what is one challenge that the organization has faced and that you have faced that other owners and, and executives could learn from? Yeah, I think one of our main challenges would be kind of like this public education piece. Um, as I mentioned that um, during the pandemic, we saw that parks were such a crucial aspect of life. I think a lot of people don't realize that within our state budget, parks are not mandated mandated service. So within wow. that... There is a budget issue with happening with Milwaukee County Parks. Um, and 
1985, the count, county park's budget was around $40 million. Today, mm -hmm. our budget is still around $40 million. No way. So just imagine with inflation, we should be around $90 million for our park's budget. Wow. Thank you for educating us on that. That is out of, that's out of this world that it hasn't gone up in the past like almost 40 years. Yes. Wow. Oh, oh my <laughs> gosh. So what does the future look like to this foundation? And do you have an exit plan or more plans with what you want to do? Yes. Um. So the future for the foundation looks like continued community investment. Um. We want to be able to find a sustainable long-term solution for the budget issues happening in Milwaukee County Parks. And one day, um, me and my coworkers always joke around about this. We really just want to be the cherry on top of our park system. Um, we want to fund fund the fun ideas one day. We want to be able to fund the community outings and events one day. Um, so that's long-term where we want to go with it. That's absolutely beautiful. And yeah, we should all have those goals, those dreams, those aspirations. And when you're when you're in that that deep work of it, you deserve to be that cherry on top. I absolutely love it. Thank you. Thank you. So, Tristan, my final question for you is all subjects open. What inspires you most? Yes. I would say what inspires me most. Um and I think as we get out and we, with the wet, warmer weather, um, are able to go explore our parks, mm -hmm. um, for me, it's community. It's For me, it's parks being people places, um, mm -hmm. being able to go to a park and see um, children laughing, um, people on the swing swinging. It's really um, community is my inspiration, so... That is beautiful. Yeah. And it's, it's just, once again, it's so therapeutic. And I think more than anything, it was almost kind of appropriate that this was started right before the pandemic, because people really started to use those parks as a safe place where they couldn't go anywhere else, even through the winter, like snowshoeing or just getting out there and searching for signs of spring or whatever that is. So yes. it's beautiful connecting with people, families connecting. And yeah, I love it. Thank you so much for your time. Now, Tristan, if somebody wants to support Milwaukee Parks Foundation, what is the best way for them to get in touch with you or the foundation at large? Yes, feel free to connect with us on social media. Um, we are on Instagram and LinkedIn um, and Facebook, so Milwaukee Parks Foundation. And then we also have a lovely website where you're able to connect with us and join our email list, and that's mkeparksfoundation.org. Oh my gosh, I love it. Thank you so much. Good luck, and thanks for just building our community, Tristan. Thank you. Appreciate you. My pleasure.